The 1916 Battle of Verdun of World War I is one of the bloodiest battles in recorded history. The French general who was charged to hold the line was Philippe Pétain, regarded as a soldier's soldier and a charismatic leader. France emerged victorious and Pétain earned the title Savior of Verdun. However, when Nazi Germany attacked France during World War II, the latter fell in weeks and Pétain supported signing an armistice. He met Hitler in 1940 and agreed to give North and West France and Paris to the Nazis. In a vote regarded by many as illegal, the Third French Republic was disbanded. The southeastern forces of France were given to what became Vichy France, and Pétain assumed dictatorial powers of the Vichy government. He started to pass anti-Semitic laws and collaborated with the Nazis to send French Jews to concentration camps. He also built a personality cult around himself and uses Verdun fame to bolster his image as the savior of France. Eventually, Charles de Gaulle and the Free France movement formed the French Liberation Army and worked with the Allies to liberate France and defeat Germany. De Gaulle's provisional government put the fallen Pétain on trial in 1946 for treason against France, and he was originally sentenced to lose his life, but then he was given life imprisonment because of his Verdun service. 